Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're here uh, with George Enterprises. Actually, George is away getting material, but uh, we're working on a repair job that is directly behind the cram we're in. Um, we will be doing some more remodeling here, but today's one-day project was uh, remove the slider that was there. Uh, kind of a little late getting the video started, but anyway, as we go in here, I'll show you. We got some rot to repair. Uh, this beam was rotted. The slider failed. It was actually up about 20 inches high. Uh, there was a wall and steps stepping down into the room. You can see the steps over there being used to hold up a cabinet right now. But anyway, uh, we're lowering that back down to floor level. This will all be protected properly. Uh, George is out getting a new door. To get a standard uh, 6-0 door, we're also going to have to rip into the wall. Uh, we've already ripped out the rotted jack stud and uh, we have to head this all off with the roof design all three walls of this room are a bearing wall so we've got to shore that up we've got to find a way to hide the electric um, and uh, chisel a channel out in there and hide that electric and get that slider back down where it should be at floor level so anyway uh, we'll bring you back when this is all done but for me I've got to get busy and get this siding off before George gets back here much love many thanks and we'll see you soon well, back with you, human beings. Uh, seven hours, two guys, George and myself. All the rot work ripped out, repaired. She's back in. Uh, French doors put in. And so I wanted to show you what was accomplished. Just a short amount of time, really, considering what we started out with. Uh, George is gathering materials, and I'm preparing to rip the extension jams for the sides of the French door. Uh, the walls are about an inch and a half, or about an inch out of plumb, top to bottom, and so that leaves us needing to extend the door jams in a triangular fashion to match the wall. So when everything's said and done, uh, the out of level or plumb would not really be noticed so much. So that's the day, there's a little update, but seven hours, two guys, all that work. Had a great day, and we'll have this wrapped up today. All right, back with you, everybody. Uh, French door is all trimmed out. Just wanted to give you a, a quick look at what that is in case any of you didn't understand what extension jams were. See, we have a temporary step. The lady of the house has a knee problem and there may be a deck or a landing going out here. But if you see up the side of the door, uh, it kind of looks gray in the picture because the paint isn't on, but uh, a stripe in the middle that's very thin at the bottom. And then as you go up, it gets wider. Uh, that's how far out of level or plumb the wall was. Uh, down at the bottom over here we have one full inch and at the top two and a half, so an inch and a half out of plumb. Um, and similar on the inside. But that's all taken care of and hidden now. You can see the drywall is all patched bank back in, everything insulated. So two guys about 12-13 hours uh, installed and one more coat of drywall and sand will be ready for paint but there's other work to be done here throughout the summer so we'll show you more videos from this location and I'm sure some more interesting uh, creations as we dig into this and remodel this uh, once rental home.